Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a video that people have been requesting me to do for quite a while now. And that's a bookshelf tour slash room tour type of video. I'm basically going to try to do this as nicely as I possibly can. Yeah, I want to give you a little quick tour of my two bookshelves that I have. This is the first one behind me. And then kind of like the reading area that I have in my room. And yeah, let's just jump right into this. So I wanted to kind of start this at like a wide angle so you can see the two bookshelves in full. And so this is like my main bookshelf over here where I film most of my videos in front of. And then this is like my desk down here. And then this is my other bookshelf off to the right. And I got the guitar over there. And this is like the main view of my room. But, and then I just have this huge blinding window right there, so. So this is like my main two bookshelves that I use for all of my like favorite books and my hardbacks. Here we have the Lunar Chronicles, you know, followed with Vicious, and then a lot of like young adult contemporary novels. But I usually just put my newest hardback books up here. All very colorful, I think, and I used to have them rainbow you know, organized by rainbow, but I decided that it looks kind of better with they're just kind of like all over the place. The colors are just so bright. And then this second shelf here, I have a lot of like the Colleen Hoover books all together. This is mainly like my new adult romance section, but also some young adult series are in there as well. Yeah, and then this section over here is just basically a ton of different like new adult romances as well as The Martian just got thrown in there and I have like a lot of the Taylor Jenkins read books in this pile over here and a lot of the Christina Lawrence that I love so moving on from that shelf I'm gonna come down a little bit lower and then we have this shelf down here my mom got me this book lovers never go to bed alone sign and then this is my sister's Harley Quinn Funko Pop um, but this shelf is basically just full of other paperback, young adult books mostly. This is my little Negan, by the way, from The Walking Dead. So back here I have a couple different hardbacks. This was the Anna Kendrick memoir. For the most part, just young adult paperbacks. They just look really beautiful and I had my sister help me organize the shelf with the rainbow because I think it looks really beautiful. So that's that shelf that's so just below this one here, and then I'm going to drop a shelf lower, and down here we have some of my childhood books. So these are all like the Goosebumps that I used to read when I was in like first and second grade, and then here we have the Series of Unfortunate Events, which was one of my favorite series growing up, so I had to keep all of the books. <laughs> and these are my little stuffed animals. I used to have a miniature schnauzer when I was growing up, so I have tons of those. These are my little walking dead and breaking bad funko pops because they're my favorite shows and behind them we just have some black spine books that don't really fit anywhere else on my shelves so i lumped them all together down here and lastly on the last shelf of my bookshelf down here i just have some like old yearbooks memory boxes um since i just moved about a year and a half ago i just like threw all of my memories into a couple boxes and i just keep them down there it is all for that shelf and that is a total view of all of the books I have on that first bookshelf. So the next little area I just wanted to show you over here is my desk. I have the deal on top of the desk here because my sister is currently reading it. I finally got her to read it, yes. Um, but yeah, this is my little desk area. My mom just recently got me this like New York sticker thing that I love. I love New York and I just think it's so beautiful. And this is actually a hat that Serenity was nice enough to send me. I love that hat. Yeah, this is just basically the top of my bookshelf here. I just got lots of little things like the One Republic CD that I'm obsessed with and the Mad Max poster because it's one of my favorites. Of course, the Nutella because Nutella is live. Okay, just my little desk area that goes right in between the bookshelf. Alright, so this next bookshelf I have is just to the right of my desk area, and so this first shelf up here is kind of a mix of things. Over here to the left I have some comics and graphic novels like the Saga series and then the Walking Dead comics, which are one of my favorite comics. And then I have like a couple of different photo strips of friends and family and stuff, and then back here I have this sign that says you can find magic wherever you look, sit back and relax, all you need is a book from Dr. Seuss. My mom got it for me a long time ago and I just thought it looked really beautiful on display. Here I have 1989 on display of course because it's one of the best. Behind it I just have this stack of a bunch of random like Nicholas Sparks books and young adult books that I don't 
really care for or haven't read. But over here, these are some um, Fantastic Four and different other types of comics that I got. They're still in the packaging and stuff, so I just thought it'd be cool. And then I have the Black Widow series and the Program series, which is one of my favorite series. I love that series. So after that top shelf, we go down to the second shelf, I guess. And over here, I have another little Breaking Bad Funko Pop because I love Heisenberg and all versions of Walter White. And this is actually something that my sister made a long time ago, and she was really obsessed with typography. And so she made it for me with all these different, like, books titles and I just thought it was like the coolest thing ever so I keep it on my bookshelf. This is basically just like a new little music note that I got on my birthday. This is Brokeback Mountain DVD. It's one of my favorite movies and this one came with like all these different like postcards from the movie. I wanted to keep these down here because I just thought they're like so beautiful. And like this one's the actual like postcard from the movie. Yeah super cool. Um, but yeah so I just keep these down here. I think they're so beautiful and they're like really nice quality postcards and everything so yeah so and then basically all of this shelf is is a t it's a bunch of the like really tall hardbacks that don't really fit with the regular sized hardbacks these ones are the young adult books but then all the rest of these are mainly just adult thrillers um, that's where I'm keeping most of these and then these are my three book of the month books that I recently got and then this is the fifth wave series over here the red queen and then some random books actually those are all just incredibly random books sitting right there I don't really know why I placed them there but I did so so this shelf is just basically a bunch of the hardbacks that are like the really tall hardbacks that don't really fit anywhere else so just keep them all there lowering down to the next shelf down here um these are mainly all the books that i've been sent for review mostly i mean there are some other ones just thrown in there that i didn't know where else to put them but um this is a lotion why that's on there okay so over here i just have a lot of like all of these books here are all ones that I've been sent by the publishers and these ones on top here too. I just like to keep all of the like arc type of books like with these red stamps on the side all in one spot. It just makes it a little easier for me to keep track of the books that I've been sent. Mostly all ones that I've been sent with the exception of like these two I bought myself and these two I bought myself but everything else are ones that I've been sent which is like super cool. I super appreciate when authors send me books it's so much fun and so awesome and lowering down to this next shelf i just have a bunch of like random books that i either didn't like or haven't read and don't really plan on reading or just like a mix of a ton of stuff like i have my paperbacks from the lunar chronicles that i replaced with the hard covers and i have a couple books that i just don't know really what to do with and I feel like honestly a lot of these books I'm probably gonna end up giving to the library so this is kind of my future unhaul shelf just kind of building along um and then this is a box I received from Happy Socks when they sent me their little packages and these are sticks like candlesticks that I recently received in a book mail thing so that's what that is and then down here this bottom shelf is just a complete and total mess but first i do have this laptop case that syringa t again sent me that i absolutely love it's so nice and high quality and it's freaking great and then i also have the taylor swift 1989 world tour book that's just kind of beautiful and i love it and it's so amazeballs so i have that down here this bottom shelf is basically all just like yearbook stuff like these are all three yearbooks these are a bunch of like childhood books that i used to love as a kid like green eggs and ham cloudy with a chance of meatballs you know all the good stuff is down there and then i have just a bunch of random shit honestly i don't even want to know this is like the messiest area of my room i think that's why i kind of have these to hide see it is so i don't have to look at it all the time yeah and here's my guitar and door so that is basically the rest of these bookshelves so i'm just gonna slowly rise so you can see all that is that bookshelf and up top i got the book quote pillow to just tie it all together so this is the other side of my room we have the bookshelf side over here and then this is kind of like my reading area that I have. This is a chair that I actually got with my mom. My mom was nice enough to try to find a cool reading chair for me to have right by my window. And I just love this chair. It's just so cute. 
and um, on top of it here I have this really awesome blanket that heats up it plugs into the wall and it like gets really hot so it's super nice to cuddle up with it and read it especially on a rainy cold day like we have today so over here I have this little table beside my bed that has all my cute little things on here. So this is actually a calendar that I received from one of my book mail things. They sent it with the mail and I just thought it was like the cutest calendar I've ever seen. So I just hung it up down here. This is a stack of books that are, that I'm planning on reading next. Like these are my TBR books that I'm like, this is next up on my reading list and the ones I wanna get to right away. Down here, uh, this is like my current read. That I'm currently reading. This is actually the one they sent me the calendar with. So I'm currently reading this one, so I'm just keeping it here for now. And then this is like a diary type of book. It's like one of those that it keeps track of like your day-by-day -day type of situation so I can keep track of my work and my school schedule. And this is actually something that um my mom like got for my birthday. She just like put it out on the counter and I just thought it was so cute because my Instagram is called My Fictional World and I just thought it was so cute and creative so I decided to just bring it over to my desk and put it on there because it's so cute and I love it and it's so thoughtful of my mom. So over here I just have a coffee cup for one of my favorite local coffee chains and in here I just put in a ton of bookmarks like I have so many different bookmarks from Barnes Noble and then like bookmarks that I've been sent in the mail with book mail different types of things in there along with some pens and highlighters for when I'm currently reading a book and I want to mark it up and then I just have a little candle over here that I light up sometimes and then of course the EOS and a giant Hershey kiss because what else and this is also something that my aunt got me a long time ago that's a little cute coaster it's very rainbow and very positive and motivating so, uh, so this is just a little book reading area right by my desk over here I'm kind of obsessed with this area it's like my favorite area in my whole house so that for the most part concludes the bookshelf tour and the room tour i'm kind of like running out of space as far as like bookshelves go but i have like no room <laughs> in my room for any more bookshelves so i do think that i might be doing like some sort of unhaul situation with that other bookshelf that i showed that just has a lot of stuff that I either don't plan on ever reading or have read and didn't like and I don't know I just I might start getting rid of that stuff so I wanted to know do you think I should do an unhaul video I've seen some of those around and I know unhaul videos kind of get a lot of hate sometimes so I wasn't sure if I wanted to do one or not but I wanted to know would you guys like to see an unhaul video so I hope you guys like this I'm sorry if it was filmed very badly but I tried to do my best these are the way I have my bookshelves organized for right now but I kind of changed them all the time I just get like new ideas and then I'm like oh my god I need to do a rainbow now or I need to organize it by author or whatever so they change all the time but for now this is how they are and I kind of love it and yeah so thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you guys later. yeah so I have that up there